Hey, there you are. I was beginning to get worried about you. Mm -hmm. Did traffic suck that bad? Oh, I'm sorry, baby, but you're home now, and it's Friday night. No leaving the house for two days if we don't want to. <laughs> oh, what smells so good? I have started cooking you dinner. I got off a little early today and ran by the market. You're going to be my guinea pig for a new recipe. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of fancy schmancy stuff in it. It's that pasta dish I showed you the other night. Someone had posted it on their Facebook feed. Yeah, so we're having pasta, a big green salad, garlic bread, and I also have dessert in the works. Spoiling you. Now, why would you ever think that? <laughs> All right, now you go and get changed and come back in the kitchen with me. Well, hell yes, you're going to help. <laughs> it will have dinner, get ready, faster plus... I would just love the company. Okay? Okay? <laughs> mm. All right, go. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Boy. You went straight for the comfy clothes, didn't you? <laughs> T-shirt and cotton pants? You look positively... snuggly. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm going to put you on salad duty. All of the veggies are over on the counter with the cutting board. Um, Just put everything in the big orange bowl and we'll toss it with dressing after it's all in there. How was my day? Well, it was good. Things weren't too busy, which was a great thing. I was able to catch up on a few accounts. I went to lunch with um, Trish and Daphne. Yeah, they took me to this new place downtown. No, the, the food wasn't bad, but it definitely wasn't worth the price. But Daphne was buying, so I wasn't going to be choosy about where we went. Hmm, what, love? Yeah, that's the perfect size for the tomatoes. Anyway... And then my supervisor said, since I worked late on Monday and Tuesday, I could head out early, but still clock out at normal time. So that'll be a little extra money. Oh, God, baby. Baby, are you okay? What did you do? You cut yourself. Here, let me see. Oh, good God, you, you're really bleeding here. Rinse it under the water. Let me, let me get a towel. Oh, sweetie, don't apologize. You were paying attention to me talking my head off. It could have happened to anyone. Okay, let me see. I can't tell how deep it is. Uh, here, let me wrap it in the towel and, and get some pressure on it. When, once the bleeding stops, maybe we can see if you're going to need stitches or not. Here, come, come sit at the table. Does it hurt? Burning like hell. Okay, honey. Oh, dang it. You've, you're, you've bled through the towel. Um, keep pressure on it. Let me turn everything off in the kitchen. I'm going to take you to the emergency room. All right, getting my keys and my purse. Okay, baby, come on, let's go. Yes, you're going in your comfy clothes. Love, trust me. You will be dressed up compared to some of the people that we're going to meet in the ER tonight. Come on. Well, oh, that took longer than I expected. <laughs> One busy night at the ER. And I told you, compared to that guy in his boxers and white tank top, you were basically wearing a tux. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, baby, but I am starving. Taco Bell to the rescue, huh? Oh, come on, we'll picnic at the coffee table, like we do on video game nights. Oh, God, this food smells good. Come to mama, you extra cheesy burrito. Babe, do you want mild or hot sauce for your chalupa? Love, what's wrong? Is your hand starting to hurt? 
No. Well, what is it then? Hey, come here. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. You didn't ruin our night. The whole point of us making dinner was to get to spend time together. We've still been together all evening. You just made it a hell of a lot more adventurous. <laughs> and you've got 15 stitches to prove it. Besides, I owed you one. One what? Uh, one trip to the ER, don't you remember? We hadn't been dating that long, and you invited me to play baseball with your friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you're starting to remember. I was trying to catch the ball, forgetting I have no eye-hand coordination, and somehow ended up getting nailed by the baseball in the eye. Knocked me flat on my ass, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Five stitches just under my eyebrow, and right there's the scar. You were so scared I was never going to go back out with you. But I did. I just looked like a raccoon with only one dark eye for a few weeks. <laughs> but you held my hand the entire way to the ER. The entire visit. And you were so worried about a concussion. You made me let you spend the night. I don't think you slept a wink at all. Even though I was out like a light from the pain meds. Baby, <laughs> I'm just glad you're okay and that your injury isn't worse. That hand is going to be out of commission for a few weeks, but that's nothing you can't handle. <laughs> so let's eat up, and then I'll clean the kitchen while you choose a movie for us to watch. <laughs> what? You want to think of a better story of how you got hurt than just you were cutting tomatoes. <laughs> All right, then tell me what you had in mind. <laughs> All right, what's option number two then? I'll go with whatever you decide. But just so you know, I think you really showed that tomato who's in charge of the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Let me unwrap your chalupa, and then we will finish the night off right. But, um, honey, let me open your sauce packet. With your luck tonight, you're likely to break a tooth trying to tear it open. <laughs> <laughs> 